Should you pursue an MD degree or a joint MD PhD degree? If you're struggling with this decision, then this video is for you. I'm going to cover the similarities and differences between the MD PhD versus MD degree, including education, career outlook, and salary, and by the end of this video, you'll feel more confident in picking between the two. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans with BMO Academic Consulting. Be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you want us to help you with your medical school application, go to bmomedapplication.com to schedule your free initial consultation. Let's start with education. Of course, both MD-PhD and MD graduates are both medical doctors, but MD-PhD graduates also possess a PhD and are therefore known as physician scientists or medical scientists. Obtaining this extra degree requires a different program structure and length compared with MD programs. MD-PhD programs are generally seven to eight years in length and require attendance at both medical and graduate school. MD programs, on the other hand, will be completed in four years, half the time it will take MD-PhD students. While both programs are classroom-based during the first two years, MD-PhD students will move on to graduate school to complete their PhD thesis for between three to four years. They will then return to medical school for a year or two, completing their clinical rotations. Both MD-PhD and MD graduates will complete their residency training for between three to seven years before being licensed to practice medicine. The application process is similar for both MD-PhD and MD programs. You'll apply to most programs through MCAS, where you'll complete all sections of the application and you'll upload your coursework, letters of evaluation, and medical school personal statement. In addition to the standard application components, MD-PhD applicants will have to complete two additional essays. The first will describe their reasons for pursuing an MD-PhD degree, and the second will have to demonstrate their extensive research experience. The average yearly tuition and fees for students enrolled in MD programs is approximately $37,000 in-state and $62,000 at private or out-of-state friendly schools. Students enrolled in MD-PhD programs, however, have the benefit of a largely reduced or even free tuition, as most programs offer tuition waivers and provide stipends to cover the cost of living expenses. There are over 100 MD-PhD programs, and 49 of them currently receive funding from the National Institute of General Medical Sciences through the highly competitive Medical Science Training Program. Students often ask us, what's the competition like between MD-PhD versus MD applicants? Well, they're both super competitive, with acceptance rates on average ranging from 1 to 4%. However, MD-PhD programs are generally more competitive, especially MSTP programs, as students are fighting for the programs that offer waived tuition and funding to cover the cost of living expenses. Last year, MD-PhD matriculants had an average MCAT score of 516 and an average GPA of 3.80. Now we compare that with the 511.5 MCAT and 3.73 GPA of MD matriculants. So we can see that in order to be a competitive MD-PhD applicant, you'll likely have to possess a higher GPA and MCAT score than if you were to apply as an MD applicant. Of course, the level of competition varies between schools, and there are certainly MD programs that have a high volume of applicants competing for few spots, making some MD programs more competitive than MD-PhD programs. It's entirely dependent on the school, the program, and the application cycle. Now let's get into the career outlook and salary of MD-PhD versus MD graduates. Most people know that MDs become medical doctors, and most practice medicine at hospitals, clinics, medical centers, and private practices. People are generally a little bit confused as to what physician scientists do once they graduate. According to a study conducted by the AAMC, nearly 80% of all MD-PhD graduates enjoy careers as faculty members at medical schools or work for the National Institute of Health, the NIH, other research institutes, industry, federal agencies, with many devoting a large portion of their time to research. What's really cool is that out of roughly 7,000 MD-PhD alumni that took part in this study, 82% said that they would partake in MD-PhD training again, even if they had the opportunity to go back in time and change their mind. Physician scientists not only possess in-depth knowledge in the medical field, they also have knowledge of population health and disease and will be trained to conduct independent research and analysis. With this dual degree, physician scientists are highly valued for their ability to treat patients while also contributing to detecting health threats, developing new treatments, therapies, or even cures. Physician scientists working in academia can teach and provide clinical service while also conducting their own or joint research. 
the annual salary for physician scientists is usually between $60,000 to $115,000, depending on the type and place of employment. Physicians manage and support the health and well-being of those in their care. Through physical examinations, diagnostic testing, treatment, and communication, they can manage and significantly improve the health of their patients. Depending on the type of the physician, they may perform surgeries and treat other general or specific illness and disease. Annual salaries generally correspond to level of training and specialization, and usually range from $180,000 to $280,000. Now for the tough question. How can you decide between an MD-PhD or an MD degree? The most important thing is to choose only once you've considered a variety of factors that I'll discuss next and are 100% sure in your decision, because the reality is neither option will be easy and you'll have to be willing to invest the time, money, and effort to be successful. Firstly, you need to find out what drives you. If you're thinking of the joint degree, you should only pursue this degree if you have a serious passion for both medicine and research. In addition to feeling passionate about treating patients, if you find yourself interested in the mechanisms behind disease, are curious about the unknown, and can't picture a career that doesn't involve research, it's a good sign that the joint program will be suitable for you. It's essential to gain experience in either field well in advance of filling out your applications. This will be the closest you can get to test drive your potential career choice. If you're struggling to decide between an MD and MD-PhD program, be sure to gain both clinical and research experience. This will be a great way for you to get hands-on experience in both fields to see which areas really spark your interest and which areas you're not so keen on. Shadow a doctor, sign up for volunteer experiences that place you in the medical or research field, and partake in scientific experiments where you'll be testing hypotheses to gain research experience. Not only will these experiences be essential when filling out your medical school applications, the key is that through a variety of different experiences, you'll be able to hone in on your interests. Lastly, you should consider the affordability of each program. According to the AAMC, roughly 76% of all medical school students graduate with debt. For the students that do borrow money, the median debt is approximately $200,000 at public medical schools. Of course, with an average physician salary of two hundred dollars to 300000 this debt can be repaid, but it can be a rocky start for students as they begin entering their careers. A major benefit of MD-PhD programs is the fact that most programs partially cover or completely waive tuition for enrolled students, and many also provide a stipend that can be used to cover the cost of living expenses. Due to this, some students can finish their training debt-free and potentially even with a decent amount of savings. Now, this isn't to say that you should simply pick a program because of the cost, but it's an important factor to consider if you want to pursue either option. What's important is that you pick your path depending on which best aligns with your interests, motivations, and short and long-term career goals. Thanks for tuning in. This wraps up another one of our videos. Hopefully you found it helpful, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions that you want us to help you with. If you'd like us to help you with your medical school application, go to bemomedapplication.com to schedule your free initial consultation. Thanks again and see you next time.